Hi, I am Dr. Mahima Rahman, Ayurveda and CBD expert. So today's video we will be discussing all about breast cancer. Breast cancer is a type of cancer that forms in the cells of the breast. It can occur in women as well as in men. Although it is very commonly prevalently observed in women. Now let's understand what are the types of breast cancers. So depending on the uh, cells involved, depending on the structures involved, it is being divided into ductal carcinoma in situ which is called as DCIS. This is a non-invasive breast cancer where abnormal cells are found in the lining of a breast duct but they haven't spread outside the duct. Next is invasive duct carcinoma, IDC. This is the most common type of breast cancer where cancer cells invade the surrounding breast tissues. Third is invasive lobular carcinoma, ILC. This type of breast cancer starts in the milk producing glands or lobules of the breast. Fourth is, as we know, commonly heard this name, triple negative breast cancer. This type of breast cancer lacks estrogen receptors, also progesterone receptors and HER2 protein receptors. Hormone receptor positive breast cancer. This type of breast cancer test positive for estrogen receptors and or or progesterone receptors. HER2 positive breast cancer. This type of breast cancer test positive for a protein called human epidermal growth factor HER receptor 2. So let's understand which is very important. What are the symptoms of breast cancer? A lump or a mass in the breast or underarm area. Swelling, warmth, redness or darkening of the breast, changes in the size, shape of the breast, dimpling or puckering of the skin of the breast area, nipple changes such as inversion that is going inside, nipple is going inside, any discharges, abnormal discharge from nipple or pain. Next is scaliness, redness or thickening of the nipple of the breast skin. So these are the commonly observed symptoms. And uh, as you know, uh, some symptoms may not be evident in everybody. How to diagnose breast cancer? Once you observe any sort of lump, the immediate action is to go consult a doctor. They may be conducting certain tests such as mammogram, that is X-ray imaging of the breast tissues to detect any abnormalities. Further ahead of that, ultrasound, sound waves are used to create images of breast tissues then more advanced is MRI or magnetic resonance imaging of the test. A more detailed imaging test that may be used in certain cases. Biopsy can confirm the diagnosis. Removal of a small sample of breast tissue for examination under a microscope to determine if cancer cells are present or not. Next, what are the treatments involved or management involved in breast cancer in conventional system? Surgery. Options may include lumpectomy that is removal of the tumor and a small amount of the surrounding tissue or mastectomy if the area is large removing the entire breast. Radiation therapy, high energy beams are used to target and destroy cancer cells. Chemotherapy, drugs are used to kill cancer cells or stop their growth, oral treatment. Hormonal therapies, medications are used to block the effects of hormones or lower hormone levels in the body. Targeted therapy. Drugs are used to target specific abnormalities in cancer cells such as HER2 positive breast cancers. Treatment plans can be tailored to the individual patient's type and stage of breast cancer as well as other factors such as overall health, personal preferences and uh, regular follow-ups and monitoring are important to detect any signs of recurrence or complication. Early detection advance in treatment have improved survival rates for breast cancer patients. So now let's understand how Ayurveda takes breast cancer. According to Ayurveda, breast cancer gets cured by balancing the doshas of the body. These doshas are balanced with the help of ahara that is food and diet, vihara that is your lifestyle modification and certain Ayurvedic drugs. It doesn't use any chemicals or radiation. The line of treatment is done according to the balance the roga and rogi. Some of the herbs which are commonly used in breast can cancer management is ashwagandha. The herb is called as Vithenia somnifera. It has antioxidative quality that helps defend against cancer activity. 
it fights against free radicals formation in the body which is responsible for development of cancer cells it acts an immuno booster that defends against the side effects of chemotherapy a lot of researchers says that ashwagandha has the property to inhibit growth in the breast due to its cytotoxic effects gugglu uh, it's an extract from the herb of comifera mucul it is responsible for the death of cells in cancer it has an anti proliferative effect Curcumin is also an extract from the herb of Cucumia longa, commonly known as haldi. According to research, it has an anti-cancer property that can kill cancer cells. It doesn't harm any healthy cells. It only affects cancerous cells. Tulsi is also an extract from Osseum sanctum plant. It is also having anti-cancerous property, analgesic, antipyretic, and anti-inflammatory, as well as hepatoprotective in nature. It can help fight against cancer by increasing. antioxidant properties combination or polyherbal combination drugs such as chandra prabhavati which has more of a soothing and calming effect on the body helps to reduce the size of cyst fibroids and abnormal growth by shrinking the size of tumor it is made out of 37 drugs such as karpura vacha musta haridra pipali and many more kanchanara gugglu which is very commonly used polyherbal combination in uh, breast cancer the ingredient is kanchanara that is uh, kanchanara drug and guglu and amlaki uh, that is go- uh, gooseberries haritaki vibhitaki ginger black pepper pipali and varuna so these are the management strategy which can be used and as well as breast cancer diet is been really advised regular uh, diet intake change in diet is really required for breast can uh, breast uh, cancer management and as all of us know integrative approach is really good in case of any cancer management the efficacy of the treatment the cure and the the management of the condition can be much easier and quality of life can be achieved to a greater extent thank you for watching the video we at zen on co are always there by your side during your cancer journey any cancer related query you can enquire with our cancer coaches in the below given number